Hi friends, it's Deanna Wilson from Our Blooming Catholic Life and guess what came today? My adjustable aerator for Rusty's sub pod, which is here behind me. You'll see it in a minute. It's been planted with parsley and geraniums and whatnot. It's been up and running for about two weeks. The first week I just used a shovel full of worms for my back compost and then last week my worms came from Uncle Jim's worm farm. I can't remember if I ordered 500 or a thousand of the red compost worms. But they've been in there and working on vegetable scraps, carbon, and of course, Rusty's poo. Okay, so I haven't wanted to use the aerator from the back compost bin up here. I feel like I should keep those separate. Now, the one thing about Subpod is they really like to make things in as small as packaging as possible, which is great, but then you've kind of got to put some stuff together. <laughs> so it comes in multiple pieces. Ha, ah, there's something tied on here. It's a tiny little packet. And of course, all of this material that it comes in, as well as the directions are compostable when you're done. Don't worry, they're available for free online. Should you compost them and then have an issue? My issue appears to be untying it. It's very well tied on. So what do we have? Yep, just really these three pieces, plus a couple little pins, I think, in here and pass oh here's the little plastic piece little plastic piece i think is supposed to it might just be for over the end in packing you know i slid it around last time but i think it's just to protect you from that point mm. yeah it's not in any of the pictures i think that can come off whoopsies my other one i have it on there it is a little pointy at the end a lot of people worry about spiking your worms in the end I haven't done it. I know some people have, but I think it's pretty rare that it does actually hurt them. Let's see what's in here. I have four little screws and a Phillips head key. So this isn't too bad. I have the twirly bit, the handle bit. No. Oh. Interesting. Now I'm not sure. I thought there was supposed to be a straight bit. Ah, maybe it's still in packaging. There's a straight piece missing. One of these must be heavier than the others. <laughs> it was pay no attention to the school bus driving down the street right now. Okay. This just seems to slot right in there. Oh, it does. So there's a little hole at the very end and then these little notches. So you slide it down into the notch goes into there and then you can put this little tiny screw in which you're just going to tighten with a phillips head key so no real mechanical prowess needed here and i haven't had any trouble with these coming loose but it's just a phillips head screwdriver so it's not like you're going to have to look you know hard to find some special tool that you need so there's the straight piece and then you want the ziggity piece. And it goes on the same way, little notches. And then there's a little hole somewhere for a screw to go in. And this is me with RA putting this together and it's barely taking me any time. So, you know, that's a good sign for all of you. Mm, okay, then this screw got stuck. It's okay, I have another one. I'm just going to back this one out. I can try and realign this one, or I can just try and pop in the third one. Okay, so there it comes with four of them, but you only need three, which is good because I just dropped one. I didn't realize I had four. It is a thing I find I do with RA is I randomly drop things. Okay, I'm going to come back to that screw. It's not the end of the world. And this one actually goes on. It's unexpected, isn't it? Wait a second. The handle doesn't go down. That's silly. And again, it's got slots. So as long as you hook it on with the slots, you're good. And the hole's only on one side, so you can't get that too wrong either. And I do actually have spares of these little screws because each one gives you spares. And so since I've already put one together, I think the other one actually came with like six so I know I kept them. They're on the dining room table for no apparent reason. 
because I saw them yesterday and was like, what's that? Okay, they did get a little tighter for me as I went along, so maybe my hands are just getting a little tired. I'm gonna have my husband tighten those a little later. But you can see, now it's together. It's like a giant screw. And if you've ever studied um, the simple machines, it's really technically an inclined plane. So it's giving us a huge mechanical advantage as well as you got this little bend in the arm and stuff. Let's see how it works. So I'm gonna go up here. Now this sub pod, the mini actually has two locks on the front, the one in the back does not have a lock. Remember the directions are up there. I take off my worm blanket. I'm gonna put this in here. Now I'm sitting down to do it for you, so it's kind of a weird angle. Rarf. Look at all this stuff. So it's really mixing up the old poo with the new poo and putting soil up on top. These compost worms love to live in the top two inches. So I've got to make the top two inches a place where they want to be. Oh, this is really getting good. Now, one of my fears is the compost bags. The one in the back, they took a long time to decompose. In the meantime, they got all tangled up on the aerator. But this one is not doing that. So now it's going to be tangled up. Because honestly, I'm not tangling dog poo bags with my hands. But it's okay. We have a lot of gloves to do that. bring you over to look in there. Dun, dun, dun. So there were a lot of worms here a second ago and they've all gone in. Oh look there's like a little pill bug in there. They're in there working away. There's some cut up bits of sponge this little guy is on. Lots of great things going on in here. Oh look the trees are even throwing in their own leaves. Oh I think that came off our little daisy there. Well that's it friends. So I put my aerator together um, pretty quickly, although not completely, because I didn't manage to get all the screws in tight the top one. I think my hand was just a little tired when I got to it. Um, and I really made a difference though in the compost, so it's going to be working a lot better. You need to aerate it just every couple of days. Oops. And don't forget to put your worm blanket back on when you're done. <laughs> God bless, friends. Bye.